one of the big issues climate change has is financing at large. The commitment on financing is, is short. But there is a very particular question that we in crisis group care a lot about. And that is the gap between those countries that have a climate change issue and at the same time are in conflict. There is a gap between those countries and the ones that have only a climate change question at hand. And this is not a theoretical question, this is a very practical question. We see that the gap of investment in those countries is one third. I mean, clearly the countries in conflict receive much less resources. Most of the time they receive those resources in terms of loans. So that is another big problem. These countries have weaker institutions, the governance mechanisms are not there, the risk is higher. But at the same time, if you don't invest properly in those countries, the mutual effect of crisis created by climate change and at the same time, the conflict itself reinforces mutually. And that is a real problem. So our plea is to first to put the money that was committed to, that is fundamental, Second, to reduce that gap, to recognize that conflict adds complexity and requires more investment, no less investment. Third, to have tools that are amenable to the situation of those countries. And fourth, to think that the future of those countries is at stake. There is double jeopardy here, one could say, and that the recognition of that is fundamental in order to support countries that otherwise will be in really, really bad situation. And to end, there is experience there. There is experience uh, from the humanitarian world on solutions that can be of help. And there are experiences that prove this concept that investing right makes a difference. <music>